hi everyone so in this video I will introduce you to the main tool that we will be using throughout the entire course which is the pen tool to get you started you can access the pen tool by pressing P on your keyboard or going to the tools panel and selecting the pen icon and before I explain its cool features I want you to test it out yourself first I want you to use it right away so that you can have a feel and a taste of it. I want you to make mistakes right now. So create a new document now and set the size and name to anything you like. And access the pen tool by pressing P and just scribble all over your artboard. And I'd like you to go crazy on this one and just draw anything or use your mouse and do whatever shape you can do. You can also pause the video first to start on your quick task okay and as you can see I'm just making points and forming my shapes really randomly here and so I can test out the pen tool you might be asking hey man I have no experience or it's my first time illustrator how can I do it well the technique is to just dive in and immerse yourself you are expected to make mistakes and the real learning will just be coming from you asking the right questions and since you are now more hungry to learn about the pen tool you probably have the same questions as I did when I was just starting out so here are some top questions I hear from people who just started out including myself and the first question is how do I make a straight path? Well, it's pretty simple. You just press on your initial point, then hover your mouse to where you want the straight line to end. Press and hold shift and click again to end your path. You see, pressing shift constrains the path's direction either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Just like what you are seeing right now. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just scribbling with the pen tool again, but this time I'm just pressing shift and doing straight paths and lines to create a really quick artwork that demonstrates different use of the straight lines or path. You can see that even though we have just straight lines, we can also create artwork. Okay, so for another quick task, I want you to scribble again, but this time you have to press and hold shift as you go and keep in mind that you can only create straight lines don't forget to press and hold shift the entire time you scribble you can also post your quick task in the discussions okay so the next question is how do i make curved shapes so upon plotting your first point click and hold where you want the curve to end then simply drag in any direction where you want the curve to follow and as you see, the resulting curvature is controlled by a Bezier handle. This handle will determine the slope and height of your curve and pulling the handle results in a more curved path. Just remember to plot, hold, and drag. And the third and last question is, how do I bend a path and transition from a curve to a straight line and vice versa? Just like what you are seeing right here. Okay, so as you can see right here, I am in the middle of creating a curve path and if I press Alt, you can see that I can control the busy handle here and the previous path is no longer affected. By this, I can just use or press Shift and you can see that my busy handle is constrained in a horizontal, vertical, and diagonal direction. And what I can do is I can plot another point here so that I can transition from a curve to a straight path and then just click here again and create more straight lines then I can go here again and pull the handle to make a curved path again and then I can simply press out again and as you can see you can move the handle in any direction again and with this I can then just bend it just like this and then make a curved path again press out again and constrain the handle by pressing shift and then continuing on to the straight line and then I can go and seal my shape so if you want to transition from a curved path you just have to press out and then press shift to constrain the handle and then there is your straight path and if you are from a straight path 
you can just pluck the end of your curve and then pull the handle then press out again to bend your busy handle and shift constrain it and then you can just go and continue creating your straight path upon practicing these three fundamentals which is making straight path curved path and bending paths you now have the knowledge to create complex shapes easily and just be sure to pre-plan your shape and be sure where to plot your anchor points and how hard to bend or pull those bezier curves.